Hello, my name is Raksha Jain. I'm sign-off and verification lead product engineer at Cadence Design Systems working on Qantas Extraction product. Welcome to the demo series of Qantas DSPF Interactive Output. Let's start with episode 4 of the Qantas IDSPF Interactive series where we will be covering Qantas resistance analysis as well as parasitic visualization using IDSPF view. In the last episodes, we ran Qantas generating IDSPF OA view and the SKDSPF simultaneously from the single run and used the IDSPF for simulation, after which we explored in-context and out-of-context probing. Now, let us explore the IDSPF OA view. So here we can see that interactive view for debug and probing is generated and this interactive view is bound to the DSPF. We can display the parasitics of a specific net using smart parasitics menu. Here for example, we can unselect the caps and inductance if we just want resistance to be displayed. Now apply the threshold. So here we can see that all the resistors displayed on the net enable Now we can also use overlay layout functionality in the interactive DSPF flow to open the layout in the background Now let's check the Qantas R analysis options one by one First is the point-to-point -point resistance. Here, we can just select the nodes to obtain the P2PR. We are able to select the nodes directly on the IDSPF view. Let's select the nodes. Let's select another node. Click on Calculate. So P2PR is calculated and the layer-wise resistance contribution for each layer on the net is displayed. Now let's calculate the terminal to terminal resistance. We can calculate the terminal to terminal resistance by selecting the instance terminals of the specified net. Choose the view. Let's specify the net first. Now we will select the instance terminals. Now click on calculate. The terminal to terminal resistance is calculated and the layer wise resistance contribution for each layer on the specified net is displayed. We can also do the same thing that is generate terminal to terminal resistance directly through the schematic view as well. Go to Qantas R analysis terminal to terminal schematic. Let's choose the IDSPF view. From here, we can select directly the device terminals on the schematic to calculate the terminal to terminal resistance. Select the devices. Now select another one. Click on calculate and we obtain the terminal to terminal resistance. Layerwise resistance contribution report is also displayed. Thank you for tuning into episode 4. I hope to see you back for episode 5 covering parasitic reporting and pack annotation in the IDSPF view.